We've encountered our first issue. Come on in guys. Rob here with Arcadia Everything, here to show you uh, our bamboo printing farm and our first issue with the Bamboo X1 Carbon. We just purchased the last five of these in our printing farm and two of them right out of the box has the same issue. We're gonna actually show you the issue, what it's doing and how to su submit a support ticket. If you wanna check it out right over here, this is the issue we're having. This is one of our print files and we actually printed it multiple times just to make sure it was not a fluke. You can see here that uh, it was a pretty catastrophic failure. The print head actually jogged and started skipping teeth, so the file is pretty much shot. Now we're going to actually go through and submit a support ticket to Bamboo Labs and we'll show you step by step how to do that and we'll see the response we get. We're here at our engineering bench and if you guys want to come over here and take a look, we are going to open up a new support ticket. Now I've already filled some of this out just to save some headache, but we're going to go through each step and make sure that you guys can get yours submitted too if you have an issue as well. So obviously we're on bamboolabs.com. We went to the my support slash ticket and uh, we are going to start with our issue type. So right here, obviously, you're going to want to put in what printer you have. We have the X1C. Our issue, which I've concluded, is in the X-axis carbon rods. So what I'm thinking is actually occurring is the carbon rods have a mist tolerance on them, and the actual printer head, when it goes to the left portion of the printer, uh, binds up. And it's a brand new printer. We've literally only had one hour on this thing, so. I've even made sure to check and clean the rods even though it is brand new. have seen no issue and it is going to be an x-axis carbon rod issue so it's very interesting that it happened on two of our brand new printers. We hope to have that problem resolved fairly quickly because we are in production for our business. So you can see here we have our X1C selected. We are going to select the XYZ axis issue but there's a bunch to choose from, so make sure you select the one that's closest to your issue. Right here, we've selected x-axis abnormalities. Again, you have a bunch of different options there. As we scroll down, we're going to have my name. That's me, Robert Alexander, if you're curious. Uh, obviously, we're in the United States, and our issue took place just a few days ago, 4-17-2024, and I just put today's date as the end date. We have our product serial number, obviously yours is going to be specific, and they do, if you are logged into your account, they're going to have your printers loaded up on this screen anyways, so just select the one with your issue. We do run ABS with the Bamboo Labs, and uh, our order ID channel, this is our purchase order. So in here I wrote a description of our issue, uh, just very briefly, if you want to check that out as, a, as kind of an example, I'm not going to go any further than that. but. Uh, we just typed out our complaint as easily as possible, as most coherent as possible. And then down here is where you're going to upload all the stuff. Now you see those little asterisks here. You have to upload a photo or video and a printer log file to submit the claim. We're actually going to go a step further and submit a couple other uh, videos with this accompanying this so they can see exactly what's going on. And uh, you will see a, a video of the printer actually having the issue here in a minute. So right here we did upload the IP cam. Now we upload our files through our SD card on the printer. So we actually have micro SD cards plugged into our printer. And we actually put it back in our computer and upload the files from there. Now the printer log files was a little different. Uh, but we did use the micro SD card which is the easiest way. So basically you'll set your micro SD card back in your printer. You go to the, the settings, you'll go to general and you'll go and find the user logs. You'll click that and upload the files into your SD card and then we transfer them to our computer. So after that you see our logs are here and then you do have a couple other options to put a different, uh, a couple different things like model files and log files and other attachments here. So after that we're going to submit it right down here and we will see what kind of response we get, how quickly we get a response. So today is 
April 19th, 2024. We are submitting it today, and we are going to get back with you guys on the date of which they reply, uh, hopefully in this video. So we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Bye. Thank you.